in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Welcome back. Well, hazy, uh, hazy conditions on our sky cam here as you're looking off to the south. You can see the construction project there with the Spawn Hospital Edition. Air you can wear as our humidity has really picked up and that's reflected in our dew point temperatures as they have risen into the 70s across the coastal bend. Even inland areas that were in the 50s an hour ago are on the rise. So the uh, moisture is back and that means it's going to be uncomfortable and eventually lead to a little bit of rain shower activity here Sunday, Monday, but not very much. This is just some high cloudiness uh, across the coastal bend. It'll make for a gorgeous sunset tonight. We had hot temperatures today in the mid-90s. We'll be there again tomorrow. The uh, remnants of uh, Irma fizzling out over the Tennessee Valley yesterday, and uh, then Jose out here in the Atlantic as a Category 1 hurricane. That storm stays in the Atlantic. That is not going to uh, be affecting the United States directly, and it's certainly no threat here. And as I've mentioned uh, numerous times, our hurricane season ended when we had that big front that uh, stirred and pushed Irma away from uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Jose uh, is meandering around right now. It's getting sheared off a little bit. And uh, this was a major hurricane just uh, four days ago. Now it's down to a Category 1. And the forecast track takes it up the East Coast well offshore and weakens it as a tropical storm, but with 70 mile an hour winds Monday afternoon east of the Carolinas and Virginia. That's because this upper level low is uh, having trouble pulling it up. It's leaving it behind, but high pressure off to the east. Again, it'll go around that high and up to the north. High pressure for us is also shifted east, so that means the return flow off the Gulf, both surface and aloft in this position, and that'll deliver more humidity and a few showers here, but not right away. As you can see, the air is very dry over the region. Future Tracker is showing that we'll have mainly clear skies overnight, sunny skies tomorrow, and also on Friday, it's going to be hot for Friday night football, but it will be dry. Typically in uh, September, you get some rain showers, and we'll have some offshore here on a Saturday that will arrive on Sunday. So the winds, breezy right now. They calm down out of the south in the morning. A little bit of a low-level jet along the uh, bayfront and the beach area. Southeasterly sea breeze tomorrow afternoon picking up. We'll start with light winds again on Friday. They pick up Friday afternoon. Not near as comfortable. 73 tonight, humid and warmer by 10 degrees. Tomorrow we're looking at hazy sunshine as summer returns in full force. Hazy, hot and humid and breezy. And 95 heat index will be over 100 tomorrow. And here's your seven-day forecast. 74 and 92 Friday, 74 and 93 Saturday. Sunday will pick up isolated showers as we will on Monday and uh, the heat continues. Look at those lows in the upper 70s here Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So Stephania and Lee, we're going to have to wait a while before it cools off again like we've had the last several days. 